Looks like we got seven packages for today's mail call. Hey everyone, it's Rob with Rob Finds Treasure and it's time for a Sunday shout out and mail call episode. It's crazy. Every single week it seems like we get a nice handful of packages. We did have one more package that uh, we couldn't pick up because there was some postage due and the post office was closed today when I went to go pick it up. Postage due. Just wanted to give a recap now of uh, which packages we got from who. Looks like we got another package from Metal Detecting with Austin Simpson. Another package from Coinman5000. Jaden's Toy Reviews sent me a package, which is pretty cool. Nathan sent a package in. Got a package from Big T Coins, which is really cool. And I believe he says this is uh, in place or somebody had won something on his stream or on his channel and they wanted to send it to me. So I'll, I'll double check inside here. That's, I believe that's what it is and it might be a, a gentleman by the name of Scott. So we'll take a look. I'm not quite sure. I don't want to be too presumptuous, but that's what I believe this one is. All right, guys, I was able to confirm it was Scott R. He's the one who said, Rob, expect a package from Big T. So I was correct. It was Scott. Awesome, Scott. I'll be sure to include your YouTube channel in the description as well. And then Oliver... I sent me two packages that came on two different days. So pretty cool. We'll take a look at those. So we've got six different senders of seven packages. And like I said, you saw in the clip, we have a package that we haven't been able to pick up yet. That'll be included in next week's episode. Without further ado, I think what we'll do is we'll kick it off uh, getting into Oliver's packages since he sent two and they're both together. All right, guys, first two packages are from Oliver. Now, before I get started, I want to remind everyone that everyone who's included a YouTube channel or an Instagram channel or a Facebook page on their packages, I'll post a link to those below. If they don't have anything in their packages, I'm going to assume they don't have a channel unless I know who they are and I know their channel very well, then it's easy for me. Like, for example, Big T. If he didn't put his YouTube name and say, hey, specifically, my YouTube channel is Big T, we know who Big T is. Outside of that though, I'll do my best to find the channels when I can. Like I said, first package is from Oliver. Oliver wrote me a nice little letter. He said, hi, this is Oliver. I am 10 years old and I watch your videos a lot. I also collect Canadian coins and USA coins. If you need any Canadian pennies, send me a list from Oliver. That's very kind of you, Oliver. I am getting ready to sort my Canadian pennies. I have a whole jar full of them. And all I've done through my hunts and my gifts is just put them in there. So I haven't sorted them to know which ones I need yet. But once I do that, I'll be able to let everyone know if you want to send Canadian pennies, which ones I'm looking for. Oliver gave me, in his first package, three coins. The first coin he gave me is a 1944 Philadelphia Mint War Nickel. Very sweet. Thank you very much, Oliver. He also threw in a King George VI, 1950. Gotta love those Canadian scents, especially King George VI's, as well as a King George V. I'll learn to flip these right one day. 1935. Sweet. I don't have very many of these, maybe uh, three or four, so I'm pretty certain I won't have this year. That's an awesome, awesome package. And then he topped it off with a second package. And um, no note in this one, but we know who it's from. It's from Oliver again. And he wrote here, please send me some fractional silver or junk silver. Okay, Let's see what I can do about that. I melted a lot of my junk silver into a bar, but I do have some more. And let me see what I can do about sending you some. That's pretty cool that you could use some of that as well. Looks like we got a bag of forms, which I'll go through in a second. Let me flip these around. All right, first up is a Indian head penny. Looks like 1902. Good detail, that's a nice Indian head. Thank you very much, Oliver. And we've also got a war nickel, 1945, Philadelphia, awesome. Looks like another war nickel, 1943, San Francisco, awesome. So that's uh, three war nickels, two Canadian pennies, 
and an Indian head. What else did he send? Ooh, some silver, a 67 half dollar silver, 40%, a 68 Denver. You know I got a lot of those and I love getting more. Half dollar and a 69 Denver half dollar. Man, that's a great package so far. And then we got some foreigns here. All right, everyone decided to pull those out of the wrapper so we could see them better. Looks like we got some Fennigs here. We got a 1993 one Fennig. Looks like we got a two Fennig from 92. A five Fennig from 91. A 10 Fennig from 1988. A 50 Fennig from 1990. And one Deutschmark from 1950. And that's in good shape. Wow. Oliver, sweet package, man. Great coins. I really appreciate it. I'll keep an eye out for some junk silver, and I'll send it your way. All right, guys. Next box up is from Nathan. Nathan did include a note in here. So let's go ahead and take a look at this note. All right. So Nathan is Nate Gate. That's his YouTube channel. So let's make sure we check out his channel, see what kind of content he has. He says, I love your YouTube channel, Rob. I think it's really great. I do some coin roll hunting, but not a lot. I have found 22 Buffaloes, 28 wartime silvers, two 1912 V nickels, a 52 foreign coin in one box. What? Ridiculous. Please check out my channel, Nate Gate. I don't just do coin roll hunting. I do anything you want me to do. My goal is 50 subs. All right, at the end of the day, man, if you're doing coin roll hunting, that's really cool. I'm sure if you have some videos up, we can all check it out. We can get you to 50 subs, and uh, we can watch one or two of your vids. P.S. The box of nickels were customer wrapped. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. That's a lot of buffaloes and war nickels. Holy cow, you scored great. I would love to find a box like that. Okay, and he's got a list of goodies that he sent me here, and they must still be in here. They are. Let me go ahead and dump these guys out of here, and... Uh, We'll show you what they are. All right, as he uh, listed out here, we got them all. A couple of 45 wheat pennies. And they're in pretty good shape, to tell you the truth. So, Nate, I really appreciate that. Man, they're in pretty good shape. We also got a 1963 Canadian. Gotta love those uh, young heads. A couple of 09 pennies that you know I collect. We got a 58 D and a 53 Philadelphia nickel. And then we got a 49 and a 48 and a 47 nickel. And the 49 and 48 are Denver mints as well. Man, so thanks a lot, Nate. I appreciate it. We'll be sure to check out your channel, Nate Gate. And uh, hopefully you get to 50 subs. That'd be awesome if you get to 50 subs to do a 50 sub shout out giveaway video. Just letting everyone know you got there. That'd be really cool. Everyone check out his channel, sub to him. Nate, thank you very much. All right, guys, next package is from Austin Simpson. Austin Simpson has sent me a package before. His channel is Metal Detecting with Austin Simpson. I believe this package, though, is a result of me winning his 100 subscriber giveaway, which is really cool because I believe we all helped him out on the last video that I did where we asked everyone to try to sub to his channel. So hopefully that gave him a little bit of a boost. But at the end of the day, man, congratulations on 100 subs, Austin. I know that I... You told me that I won your giveaway. I'm assuming this is what it is. Hey Rob, this is Austin from Metal Detecting with Austin Simpson. Congratulations on winning my 100 subscriber giveaway. You won the grand prize, which is two Buffalo nickels, but that's not it. I threw in a wheat penny too. Hope you enjoy the coins. Keep up the videos. Also, good luck and happy hunting. Love it. Let me get these opened up. We'll take a look at what they are. All right, we got it open and the bag says, congrats, Rob finds treasure. You won the grand prize of my giveaway. So sweet. We got a couple of buffaloes as promised. I believe one's a 1928 Philly, and I can't make out the date on this one yet. We'll figure it out later, either through Nick a date or I'll take a close, at, close up of it with my macro lens, but not for this video right now. And then we also got, he threw in a 1940D wheat penny. Austin, congratulations again on 100 subs. Cool that I won the giveaway. It'd be cool if everyone continued to support Austin. If you're not a subscriber to his channel, he does metal detecting uh, videos as well as coin roll hunts. Check them out, sub to them. Thanks again, Austin. Sweet coins. All right, guys, next package is from Big T. Big T has a YouTube channel. If you're not a subscriber, please check it out. He also does live streams and, and, uh, and coin roll hunts as well. Somewhere in one of the live streams I was on, Scott said that I would be getting a package from Big T Coins. I really appreciate it. We gotta check out Big T Coins uh, channel, and these are the coins that I got. 
via um, a generous gift from Scott. We got a 1940 Philadelphia, a 1955 Philadelphia, and a 1957 Denver nickel. Really cool, really appreciate They know I collect nickels for sure. I'll be adding those to the collection. Again, thanks Big T, and thank you Scott for the generosity. All right guys, next package is from Jaden's Toy Reviews. So be sure to check out his channel. He wants me to open this on camera, which I will do. Hi Rob, my name is Jaden and I am 12 years old. I'm a really big fan of yours. I've watched every video on your channel and I love them all. Thank you very much, Jaden. That's uh, very kind of you. You got me into coin roll hunting. Since I started, I have found two Buffalo nickels and three Silver War nickels. I would love if you give me a shout out. My YouTube channel is Jaden's Toy Reviews. All right guys, there it is, his channel. Check him out for sure. I sent you some coins to go with your collection. Thanks, Jaden Spawnholtz. Chinese coin, Hong Kong 10 cent, 39 wheat penny, 72 D nickel with cool tinting, a dollar bill with cool serial number. Japanese coin, a Queen Elizabeth young head, and a bonus coin to open last. Bonus coin, open last. So here we go, everyone. Looks like we got our Chinese coin here. Pretty dang cool. I love the uh, Chinese coins with the square hole in them. That's a really cool coin. This is the Hong Kong coin right here. Must be 10 cents. What year is that? 1963. We also got a Japanese coin here, I believe. Really cool. We've got a 1939 Philadelphia wheat penny. Awesome. Here's that 72D nickel with some really cool pink toning. <laughs> Reminds me of that pink buffalo that I found. And then we've got a young head. 1959. Got a dollar bill with a cool serial number. Looks like it's got six ones and fives with a couple of eights. That is pretty cool. I'll take that for sure. Thanks for the buck. And bonus coin open last. All right, let me get this guy open since it's got tape on both sides and I can't do that one handed and then we'll expose it. All right, we've got it open. Let's see what it is. Ooh, that's a beautiful looking war nickel. Good toning too from Philadelphia. What year is it? 1943. I love the color and luster on that. That is a great bonus coin, Jaden. Wow, great package. Guys, please check out his channel, Jaden's Toy Reviews. Jaden, thank you very much for the package. Thank you for the support and the kind words. Keep hunting, buddy. Sounds like you're off to a good start, and um, I'll be sure to make sure I'm subbed and I'll check out your channel as well. All right, everyone, last package from Coinman5000. Coinman5000 gave me a package in my last shout out video. He's been very supportive of the community. I've seen him give away coins nonstop to just people. He doesn't uh, disappoint giving me a package again. This guy is awesome. Please be sure to check out his channel, subscribe. I'm sure you'll love his content. I know I've watched several of his videos. The guy is definitely an up and comer in the coin community. Good to have him here. Let's see what he gets sent to us. All right, we got a letter with some coins. I don't miss anything and let's get this letter open first the last package i sent you i wanted to give them away in a live stream these coins are for you okay thanks for the great video and thank you for the shout out on my channel hope you enjoy these coins coin man 5000 that's right everyone if you recall last package he sent me he sent me a bunch of coins to make sure i gave away my live stream i haven't done a live stream since then yet i do plan on it when i do that coin man 5000 the, the coins you sent last time were part of that live stream. Maybe a couple because you sent so many. Let's see what we got from Coin Man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Let's start with the first one. Look at this. A 1909. It's a 1909 Wee Penny, but in great shape. Beautiful. Then he ups the game with an Indian head, a 1909. Beautiful, look at that detail. And then he ups it again. Look at this flying eagle. Is that an 1859? 1858. Yeah, 1858. Wow. This is only my second 
Flying Eagle scent that I have in my collection. That's a special one, Coin Man. You didn't, uh, you didn't let me down. You gave me first year Wheat Penny, last year Indian Head Penny, and second to the last year Flying Eagle scent. And I took a little bit of time a second ago to just take a look at it off camera to make sure it wasn't an eight over seven. If it was Coin Man, I'd have to let you know about that. It's not. And I think it's the small letter version, not the large letters on United States of America. Same value as the large letter. They're, they're the exact same, but I wanted to double check. So really, really cool. Wow. Well, that makes me excited. I got some really cool pennies here, but I especially, since it's only my second one, love the Flying Eagle scent. Holy cow, another week, another bunch of great packages from awesome supporters of the channel and of the community. Let's show them some support and love by subscribing to their channels and then watching. Don't just subscribe, guys. Please take the time to watch either at least their most recent video. And then if you can and you like what you see, turn on that bell notification for them as well so that you get notified when they do post videos. But still, if you can, subscribe. Check out some of their videos initially. I want to say thank you to everyone who sent me a package again this week. And again, the support you guys have given me has been tremendous. As an FYI, I just hit a million views on my channel on September 13th, which was three days ago. And I do plan on having a 1 million uh, view uh, giveaway. And I'll probably record that in the next couple of days. And then when I hit 10,000 subs, assuming I do, hopefully I do, I'll have another giveaway for that as well. So stay tuned. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, episode of my mail call and Sunday shout out video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, everyone, happy hunting. And thanks for watching.